Welcome to Magic Gathering Stratum Dam. This is my second Mirage Block draft. And this time I got a deck I really like. So I think I will be able to hold the ground. Uh, maybe gain some life with the Soul Shepherds. Either get a quick win with Imperial Armor or clog the ground win with my Flyers. Uh, so it's a classic Blue-White Flyers thing happening here. And I think it will be sweet. 17 land. 2 mind stones and an impulse. And a flux. Yeah, clog the ground, win. Good work. One thing to note here is that I didn't get any valuable cards at all. So, even if I win everything this time, I'm gonna lose. But of course, I gotta win as much as possible, so I will fight for it. Alright. So do I play first or not? I'm not sure. Still not sure. But this looks like a good hand. And I'm gonna do good stuff. Though if he plays one huge green guy, I am probably dead. I think I'm good against blue. Especially with the sling and the sideboard. And then I'm gonna do for, go for Cloud Elemental on turn 3. Alms. What? That must be horrible. Or not? I'm not sure. I prefer to play a creature. My opponent is Gus99. Is this good? Now we could. Ooh. Do I do it? Is it worth the chance? I think I'm gonna develop and play it when I'm sure I get a bounce in. Just like. We could actually get me with the Flash Knight there, so I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna play Cloud Elemental and hopefully Imperial Armor that next turn. So I get in one hit with the Imperial Armor. It is worth not playing stuff. Okay, can't be blocked except by blue creatures. So let's go to town then. We do not want this guy to be bounced now. And we are going to miss the land drop to get the turn 3 kill, uh, or 3 turn clock. But we actually do not need it, right? We can drop a land here. We're going to get him to 11. We're still going to need to hit him twice. So I think I can drop a land there. Got to have the bounce! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Got in one hit at least. That means I'm ahead in the race. I didn't miss the land drop. And it's on! I would love to draw another uh, man. Oh, no. oh, he's green too. That is not gonna serve him well. That would be dealt to target creature, not to a player either. Alm seems really bad. 
Yeah, you go ahead because I'm gonna beat you down. That was a pretty sweet undo. Do I sideboard out Imperial Armor? I think I do. I'm not sure. <laughs> what the hell? Strat bears. They are not too bad. But I have better stuff than you do. I haven't seen any flyers from him actually, so sideboarding out an airing sling for I don't know about that. Apathy. <laughs> Discard a card at random. Well, uh, I'm not gonna do that. No thanks. I am definitely not gonna do that. This is lethal, right? Nine? No, it's just nine. But it is pretty good. So I'm gonna attack with the Drake, do two damage, and then play the Archangel! What if he has a control magic effect? Is it unnecessary to show him the Archangel? I can set up for a kill next turn. And I can do 9 damage. No, of course I'm gonna play the Archangel. <sighs> Not playing it would be insane, wouldn't it? And I, I'm just gonna take whatever punishment he wants to give me. I remember alms here. If I draw a land after next turn, then I can discard the land to. Oh, I can still attack once. What the hell is that? Okay, yeah, I didn't even remember that. So we should attack with this guy. So we swing with the flyers. Pump that. Do four damage. What if he has a power sink or something? Then I will know. I still think I can pull through here. It's important to be ahead on the clock here, as I said before, Mirage block drafts take a long time. Two more cards. And you saw me not picking the Manta Ray. Now you know why. I don't think he can do 6 damage in any way, so I'm not gonna block anything. Uh, I am gonna 
discard a card at random. And I'm going to attack with everything. Fog. Overkill. Hey, wait a minute. I shouldn't pump that thing because he can rear command it. Oh no! Oh god! But he didn't have it. Okay, that is returned to hand. That's uh, super nice. And it's too late for air command. Next time, a source of your choice would deal damage to your creature. Oh, sure. Uh, super mini fog. You're still dead, though. That's why I don't like Honorable Passage. I didn't see one flyer. Okay, let, I, I don't understand this card. Unerring Sling. Does damage. Wow. To attacker or blocker. Seems like a, a brilliant chance to do mistakes. Archer, Sling, Warriors on Angel Grino, Benevolent Unicorn. Imperial armor is so powerful that I'm gonna keep it. I need to see more flyers to bring in the sling. So let's do this again. And notice how Imperial armor didn't do a whole lot for me in this match, in this duel. Got to play the control game. Got to be the control deck. Got to control everything. Everything has to be controlled. Got to control everything. Right. I don't know if this guy knows what he's doing. Uh, he chooses to play last. And I don't know. I don't know about that. It's often wrong. Oh, Atoll is super bad here. But it will help getting me to my angel. So I must not play the Atoll. I, I seem to remember that I didn't play those things the last time around. So can he deal with the angel? Need blue badly. Yeah, he took the shoreline, so let's see if it works for him. I really need blue actually, so I'm gonna sack the mind stone. I don't need to do it yet. I don't need to do it yet. Can wait a turn. He doesn't play a creature. 
but he does play Knight of Valor. So I think I have to sacrifice the stone here. I pack a lot of islands. There is one. And I think this is exactly what we're here for. Flooded shoreline. Does not look impressive. Oh, he has the Tron. Giant Mantis with Reach. What the hell? So I think it is the Atoll here. Or is it? Doesn't matter, right? I have to deploy another creature. And if I deploy the Cloud Elemental, it's going to be able to... One of them is going to be able to attack. Alright. I'm way ahead of him on the clock, which is good. Now he has five creatures. And I might be in trouble. Nah. Asymmetric. Uh, I can attack with these two. Kill the Knight of Valor or the Mantis. What happens if they block like that? The one that the Mantis blocks will be pumped. What if it blocks both of them? It can only kill one of them. So I think I should attack here. I just wish he uses the shoreline. And I can't cast my blue spells here. Because I have to return the untapped island. And next turn, I'm going to be able to cast the Archangel. Do I do that into open mana? Getting it. Well, I think I have to force him here. He has the flooded shoreline. I'm definitely going to sideboard out the Imperial Armor now. I've seen that. Um, I think I got to force him to tap out. I don't think he can stay untapped. And I'm still attacking him. All combat damage that would be dealt by target blocked creature. That's also a creature I didn't want to play because it was so bad. So let's just play everything else than, than the angel. All common damage that will be dealt by target block creatures, so no blocks. Blocking is for wimps. Oh, now he can actually trade the missionary for the man of war. But he didn't want to do that. So we are playing the Drake. Oh. Got to resolve the combat first. Should have used that all. And we have impulse.
Yeah, you go right ahead, Mr. Flanker. Impulses is really powerful here. Four cards, choose one of them. Is it a veteran even? Then I can beat through the mantis. Yeah, I'm taking the veteran. That's crazy. And I did not put them in the right order. And now I'm gonna play Archangel with one mana to stop the power sink. All damage that will be dealt by target blocked creature. So, okay, so he can. Alright. So now I play this. Seven mana for the Archangel. <laughs> And then look at his power sink. No. But he can prevent all combat damage that would be dealt by target block creatures. So he can, with the Mantis and the Missionary, he can block stuff all day. Wow. Yeah, he can keep the Archangel at bay for quite some time. And he will do 5 to me a turn, but I can do more to him. I can do, I can kill him in two turns, so I need to do five this turn. And then it doesn't really matter what happens to the Archangel. Can I do five? I can't do five. That was aggressive. Yeah, I'm gonna take that. Yes, yeah, smack attack with everything. Two to Griffin. So let's think about this. We have to throw stuff in the way now. Does he even have nine power? He doesn't. He almost doesn't have it. So I want to do the five, the six damage. And then I'm gonna take five, eight. I can attack with Cloud Elemental and Manor and block with the Asimet Drake. Dealt by target block creature this time, I can't use it. Do I have 9 mana? Yes, I do. So I attack with... Is this right now? I hope so. Cloud Elemental and Mana War. He's blocking that. So we pump that, we pump that, we 
Okej. Okay. Uh, I can't play the Cloud Elemental again. So I play the Soul Shepherd. And the Angel. Okay, I have all the time in the world now to think carefully about this. He can return the Archangel to my hand. He probably will, but that's gonna cost him so much. Oh, I'm due! Of course. And the Soul Shepherd can't do anything here. Wow. This is rough. He can return that. I have to take the lead golem. Okay, le let's think this through here. I have nine mana. So I can play abduction asymmetric. An abduction on the lead golem allows me to actually attack with him next turn as well. It has to be better to remove him from combat. And then... The drake can be blocked by the griffin. And then these guys have to sort out the ground, but the knight of valor cannot be blocked. We probably have to sacrifice an infantry veteran here. So the infantry veteran is blocking the mantis. No. I am blocking the mantis with... Wow. But some something needs to die, so we are leaving an infantry veteran behind. Or are we? Hmm. The infantry veterans can't do anything reasonable. And the Soul Shepherd is definitely not blocking. So Smackman, do we leave the other one so he has to use mana for the Knight of Valor? That will allow me to do... Three damage. Okay. Attack. Pump. Play the Drake. And now we need some of our guys to die. Hmm. 
No, this is intense. We're gonna block with mana or infantry weapon and they will die and we'll gain two life. Flooded shoreline. Not the worst. Mana sink, it has improved in my rating. We can also do it several times. Ah, whatever. You got to bounce the lead golem if you're gonna have any chance. But of course you can do that on my... No. Yeah, you can bounce twice now. But if you do not attack... Breeze Creeper, Cloud Elemental. If you do not attack, I will attack with the Drake. And then I'm able to play Breeze Keeper and Cloud Elemental for blockers. So the Drake attacks. Interesting. We pump it. We pump it. And we pump it again. Okay, of course. And nobody has died yet. Now you have to return something. No. <sighs> okay, I probably should not attack anymore. I should attempt to stall him out here. Yeah, I don't think attacking is reasonable. So everybody's staying at home now. I have five blockers, you can get rid of two of them. So it's all it's all good. You face out. The angel shows up.
thirst We probably just have to replay the griffin here, uh, the archangel. Now we need to try to get to 11 mana. He only has 7 minutes to beat me twice. Of course he returns it, and I replay it. Six minutes, 30 seconds. One more man and I can play Thirst. Who will I Thirst? The Mantis, I guess. Archangel. Winning by time, which is quite the leg <laughs> legitimate, uh, a real way to win in Mirage Block Craft. I have to play fast and furious. Okay, you're blocking with the 2 4. That's awesome. Okay, well, yeah, time elapses. Mind stone? Or if you return the Archangel now at the end of my turn. That's gonna be bad. I think I'm gonna take the Knight of Valor down. What the hell? Oh, it only costs 3. Yeah, it isn't that bad. How are you going to get past my legions now? And yes, I am sacrificing the Mind Stone. Fidian! Uh, five nine, so I have to play the land if I'm going to replay the archangel. And I think I will. Four minutes, fifty seconds to 
defeat me twice. Another griffin with bounding. That's put an end to my attack. But you know what I'm gonna do now? I'm gonna let somebody die, I think. He has four attackers, I have tons of blockers. So I think I want to be able to gain life. Because I'm no longer attacking. How much life? I'll confuse him with that. Nice. So now I'm at four. Okay, maybe I need to find a way to do eight damage. Oh, all my flyers, maybe. Yeah. Oh, I have only two flyers. No, it's gonna work! Damn it. Uh, two, two. Well, that's all it takes, isn't it? Can't block. Am I missing something? There is no more creature in the graveyard. And I lose! But now it's gonna be interesting. I think Archangel is worthless now. When he needs to win in three minutes. So I'm bringing in the guild mage instead. We had plenty of flyers, but oh well. We take out Imperial Armor and bring in an Erring Sling. And now we just try to stall. Flooded shoreline has gained my respect. It did defeat me. Do I want to play first? I think I want to play first. Keeping this. Sling Fog Elemental is pretty good. So I have to play Reskip the first here. But then I'm gonna play Fog Elemental and then Sling. Oh, nice. So I play Fog Elemental. And it's a combo with the Sling. But that's not the creature that you can actually block. So maybe I have to raise him here. The 
question is, do I burn the Do I burn? Do I use let him kill the fog elemental? I have the breeze keeper instead. I think I'm gonna take two damage here. Manta ray is not flying. But there is my planes. So we play Planes, Soul Shepherd, Sling. Okay, we can take four. The Griffin. Uh, maybe you didn't read the card. So I'm gonna play... 3 mana. Oh, he has to block. Interesting. Do I just swing with everything here? Play the lion. Are we gonna get rid of the stone? Yeah, we're gonna get rid of the stone. We don't need a stone. That golem. Uh, okay, so you are not going to be able to attack. Tap an untap creature control. It doesn't. Die so Yamura Lion can be used for that. Attack with the Cloud Elemental. Play the Karu. Return the planes. Play Ophidian. We have six mana. We don't need to play any more mana now. And we are lethal next turn. Wow, that card is so good! Incredibly good. Six mana, we need to play both of those. Muran Lion, Cloud Elemental, Save the Plains, not the Atoll. 
and we are good to go. And let's deal with the cloud elemental. Or die. Yes! Control. It's never easy to win. Never ever easy.